Alrighty, guys. I want to talk to you my uh, Navy training from way the hell back. This is a Star Model 3CE H. Uh, sump pump that goes into a hole that's 11 inch and it sucks the water goes through there and down here it's an inch and a quarter pipe that comes out of there but the way they set it up was inch and a quarter and then it was convicted over to an inch and a half so this one-third horsepower worked for I don't know 10 years um, I've been here for about 15 years and this thing has been a battle for 15 years or I don't know 10 years so it was a one-third horsepower that only lifted uh, five feet so I ordered a new one it's a half horsepower goes 11 inch deep and it pumps 22 feet and this thing doesn't work hard at all now if you look at the deal you just adjusting this to get it spun over so the pipes not tied into any of the bullshit but this half ounce half half horse power pumps 5,000 gallons per hour this one pumped 3,000 gallons per hour and it got worn the fuck out look at it it's all rusted it's worn the fuck out um, over the years I kept going in and squirting it with oil to try and make the switch work better but it sucked one third horsepower so on this one, this fucking one is working great. And I wanted to tell you, I wanted to show you a story I put the roof up on the uh, porch and Then I wanted to show you all the bullshit. The concrete was already here. When I first moved here, I uh, cleaned all this out and concreted it in. I put the concrete around the house. But it broke away from the metal there but I haven't put a roof up here yet we've got the gutter up here but I concreted all this and concrete all the way to the front of the house
So we're still getting water into the basement. It's not really coming through the wall so much. It's uh It's like this guy here. Coming out of this guy's house, he's got a inch hose that his water comes out that he dug and it comes out of from there and runs down to the drain. We've got ours set pumping straight into the uh, sewer. So anyway, to look back into this, when I studied all this, they want to try to sell you a sump pump that uh, plugs in after it, the electric motor sits inside the water and then pumps it out and I'm just like totally no I'm not doing that so I bought this one I went from a third horse to a half horse 5,000 gallon power hour I'm telling you, this thing doesn't even fuck around. And to tell you the truth about this is it's not so much the rain that's coming off the roof and going into the house from the roof. It's from the uh, Missouri River when it gets high, it creates water uh, underground that rises up and the water that's coming in is through cracks in the floor that it makes happen. Uh, some through the walls but it's been painted before with, you know, thickened it. So, this thing just took its ass kicking. So I bought this one. And I think this one's going to cover it. Way better than this one. But, you know, this was pretty good way back when, 10 or 15 years ago, maybe 20 years old. You don't think it has a, you don't think it has a date on it. So, when I searched it, I just wanted to go from a one-third horsepower to a half-ounce pour and it was set up for an inch and a half screw in where this one screwed in an inch and a quarter which was stupid military navy to me it goes from a inch and a quarter deal into an inch and a half so that makes this pump go from an inch and a quarter into an inch and a half to work harder on pumping more water into building more water to work from a quarter inch and a quarter to an inch and a half
Yeah, I don't know, guys. Hard to explain, but I'm just telling you. I'm really happy the way this one's working compared to this one. And the choice of using the submersible electric pump that goes in the water, I just went, no, no, stupid idea. I'm not doing that. So, just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope it helps you think about your situations if you have the water base under the ground to uh, figure out what the hell is going on. And then all this stuff. So, all right, NT8 on the porch. Talk to you later.